Welcome to the Caro Show Channel. An airport is one of the busiest spaces on our planet, because every second hundreds of thousands of passengers aboard airliners depart or land at various airports around the world. In total, the number of passengers using the services of airlines is more than a billion people annually, and this amount is growing rapidly. Today we will talk about one of the largest airports in the world. Istanbul Airport is the aviation center of Europe of the future. Its opening has become the main aviation event of the last decade. With its new project, Turkey is challenging the whole world because the country has acquired the airport of the future. Construction is carried out in four stages. On October 29, 2018, the first part of the project was opened with a terminal that can accommodate 90 million passengers a year and has three runways. The last fourth part will be opened in 2028, and from that moment, the airport will be able to handle 200 million people annually. For comparison, the busiest airport in the world, with 209 gates, which is located in Atlanta, receives 104 million people annually. The airport is located on the Black Sea coast, 35 kilometers from the city center. In the final stage, the airport will have six runways and will operate flights to almost 350 destinations. In addition, the terminal will have the world's largest duty-free store and the largest food court as well as a hotel with 451 rooms and one of the largest parking lots for 24,000 cars. The total area of the new airport in Istanbul is 76.5 million square meters. According to some reports, the cost of the project is $29 billion. The airport is expected to generate $22 billion in revenue over its first 25 years of operation. There are 143 jet bridges connected to the terminal and security is provided by 3,500 security guards and 6,000 surveillance cameras. The Turkish airport will be able to accommodate 114 aircraft at a time. The luggage system is 42 kilometers long and is capable of handling 29,000 pieces of luggage per hour. 77 boarding gates, 114 self-check-in kiosks, 51 self-baggage drop-off kiosks. One of the largest airports in the world started working as usual in April 2019. The first stage of redirecting flights from the old airports to the new one took place on December 31, 2018. During the 12-hour break, all equipment was transported to the new airport, including equipment with a total weight of 47,000 tons, servers and specialized vehicles. 707 vehicles were involved in the crossing. The total area of the entire inventory was 30 football fields. An interesting fact is that a new method was used to test the runway. To test the stability of the ground, 1,453 trucks passed through it at the same time. 225,000 people are directly involved in servicing the airport, and another 1.5 million people are indirectly involved in its work. 311 parking spaces have been created for aircraft parking. In the future, their number will be increased to 500 units. The hangar cargo warehouse, ground technical services and 18,000 multi-level parking spaces were created to maintain the vital activity of the airport. 1,400,000 square meters of space has been allocated for cargo and postal services, allowing 35 cargo planes to operate simultaneously. They will ensure the movement of 6 million tons of cargo per year to more than 350 destinations around the world. A bus service is available to transport passengers. In 2020, the construction of a new metro line was completed. Huge parking areas with a capacity of up to 40,000 cars are organized around the airport. Half of these spaces are covered. Immediately after landing, the high tower of the control center, made in the shape of a tulip, catches the eye. The project, which received the main architectural award in 2016. The interior decoration of the airport building uses oriental motives. The ceiling of the airport terminal is decorated with 313 domes, resembling the vaults of a mosque. The airport has more than 20,000 seats for passengers in the waiting rooms. By 2023, the airport has become not only one of the largest, but also the most technologically advanced. It has about 3,000 screens and monitors. Advanced technologies have been introduced, including automatic decision-making, smart kiosks, automatic queue management systems, self-check-in counters, self-boarding gates, and other modern devices. For passengers coming from the European Union and some other countries, the new airport eliminates security control when transferring to other flights. The company that won the tender for the construction of the new airport was IGA. It will manage the airport for 25 years. According to the designers of the project from the British architectural firm Grimshaw, the airport is the main gateway to the country. 
It will also be the main connecting airport between Europe and Asia. As conceived by the architects, the terminals should display the artistic richness of the mosque, bathhouse, dome, and many other sites of the country. Unfortunately, there were some scandals. According to an interview with the Associated Press, Nahat Amur, head of the Builders' Union, said more than 100 people died during the construction. The fatal accidents were due to the rush of construction, poor safety practices on the part of the construction company and poor working conditions. Although the Turkish government assures that there were no more than 27 deaths and that it was due to health problems of the workers. In total, 36,000 people worked on the construction of one of the largest airports. It is worth mentioning the recently opened metro, which is the fastest in both Turkey and Europe. The new subway line from downtown Istanbul to the new Istanbul to Alemany Airport opened on January 22, 2023. The metro trains that run on this line are the fastest in Turkey and Europe. The declared speed is 90 to 120 km per hour. Thanks to this, Istanbul Airport from the Kaidathane station in the European part of the city can be reached in 24 minutes. Previously, the trip by bus and cab took at least an hour. Currently, there are four car trains that can carry 1,100 passengers. Authorities suggest that the subway line will be able to serve up to 800,000 passengers a day. The capacity of Istanbul Airport is up to 200 million passengers a year. A few words about the terrible events that took place in Turkey at the beginning of this year, and how, thanks to the new airport, tens of thousands of volunteers were able to get to the disaster as quickly as possible to help the injured people. On February 6, 2023, with an interval of nine hours, two powerful earthquakes occurred in the southeast of Turkey. Over 50,000 people died as a result of the disaster in Turkey. More than 100,000 were injured. Turkey declared a state of emergency in seven days of mourning. The earthquake is recognized as the most powerful in Turkey since the 1939 earthquake in Azanjan. Thousands of volunteers gathered at Turkey's main international air hub, Istanbul Airport, following the call from Disaster and Emergency Management Presidency. They came from different cities of the country to take part in the search and rescue operation for the victims of the earthquakes. Despite the snow, despite the blizzard, despite all the cataclysms, people left all their affairs and came to help their fellow citizens in distress. Turkish Airlines has transported nearly 12,000 volunteers from various cities in Turkey to take part in the earthquake relief effort, the company's general director said. The Turks showed the whole world what a real United Nation means. They are able not only to build the most ambitious projects in the world, but also to help each other in the most difficult times. Write in the comments, have you ever been to the new Istanbul airport? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Karo Show channel. Goodbye.